your three minute question and answer period for the CWB Financial Education Challenge will now begin. How has COVID-19 impacted your project? The COVID transition has been quite positive for skill series. Instead of switching to like the norms of using Zoom, we switched to YouTube Live, which we used to run the workshops on. We also started a YouTube channel where we post weekly content to our audience. Um, furthermore, we've been targeting followers on Instagram and MailChimp and Ventbrite, three technologies we haven't used before. And finally, um, we've recently created a Facebook page. We also post our content on, which will increase our viewer engagement as well. Do you have plans to scale your project? Why and how? With every workshop we run, um, we have a bigger database of accessible content. Uh, furthermore, we can expand to international markets yet to be targeted. By offering content in different languages, we could positively impact uh, emerging countries. And then additionally, we plan to charge ticket admission using that revenue to expand our offerings. What training did your project managers or program facilitators undergo? Our project managers went through basic leadership training. Uh, they worked directly with the presidents to get themselves going and confident within themselves. On top of that, we taught them basic human interaction pieces as well as HR best practices so that they could get that connection um, before they began training their own members to have a healthy, sustainable team. How did you develop the curriculum or content for the program? Did you engage any partners? Yes, so actually we worked with uh, Nim Balakandran, the CEO of CloudTax, um, who was extremely helpful in creating the curriculum for our tax workshops. Um, so we could really inform our attendees of this accessible service and give them more education as well. How do you define success for this project? Um, as co-series, we try to make sure that we're hitting a number of people who are watching our content. So that includes either YouTube live streams, videos, or YouTube views, or the number of um, hours of watching the YouTube channel. That also includes our Instagram following, MailChimp subscribers, and as well, Eventbrite ticket sales. How do you design your evaluation process to effectively measure impact given the private nature of personal finances? So by using uh, cloud tax, we're not actually collecting any personal information. Um, the only financial information we collected from our target audience was through anonymous surveys where we asked them their personal feelings on anxiety related to it. So we've never asked for um, that personal private. Your time has now expired. Thank you, Enactus Ontario Tech University.